also going to be all oh, the slush. Hold up, guys. Yo, welcome back to the channel, boys and girls. Today is the first ride outdoors for 2022. So the plan today, guys, is we're going to be testing out these NV 5.6 wheels. I'm super excited. We're also going to be giving my Dangfu R12 a go. We're going to see how it performs under load here. Um, but yeah, it should be a lot of fun. So the workout today, guys, is I'm going to be doing a little bit of threshold work, maybe some VO2 efforts as well, because what always happens to me every year is my fitness is always peaking when I'm indoors on Zwift, but then as soon as I get back outdoors, my fitness starts to plummet. So I don't want to have that happen this year because um, I'm hoping I can race. But yeah, I'll check back in with you guys a little bit. Um, you also get a tour of some of the areas which I ride. I've showed this last time, but we're going to take you to some new areas as well. All right, guys, so let's get active. Alrighty, boys and girls. So first things first, special thanks to The Pro's Closet for sending me out these NV 5.6 wheels to review for the next couple of months. I'm truly honored and I'm flattered that they've reached out to me and wanting to work with me uh, because, yeah, I really have been working really hard over these last six months to bring you guys all of this content and all of these bike reviews just so you guys can kind of see what's out there in terms of wheels, brands, um, etc. And second of all, I want to thank all of you guys out there as well all the viewers and all the support for supporting me on this channel for this last year or so it's really only due to your support that has put me in a position to be recognized by these bigger brands such as the pros closet so i really do appreciate it now as you guys have probably figured out by now building bikes can be extremely expensive and even if i do get um, free wheels or frame sets now granted my intention is not to do these uh, bike content reviews just to get out free bikes that's really not my, what my point of this channel is but it is to kind of highlight some of the brands bikes that i like that i would like to share for you guys and just kind of show you guys what you can do depending on what your budget is as far as bikes goes and so at this point i've built so many bikes that it's becoming very expensive for me in fact i'm gonna be honest i'm losing a lot of money uh you know being that my channel is still pretty small it isn't like i'm making a lot of money on these views and clicks and things like that so that's why being able to work with the pros closet is such a huge game changer for me because now i'm able to try out a lot of different things for content for reviews and this will allow me to do a little bit more with this channel versus just doing the same old reviews in my living room guys which i'm sure you guys are probably bored of but who knows all right so so far on my dang food i gotta be honest the very first time i rode it outdoors i thought it was kind of mushy it kind of felt like <laughs> kind of like a coffee bike but uh coffee ride bike that is but you know so far you know it's really stiff and it's responsive and who knows if a lot of that has to do with the wheels uh but yeah i'm gonna give it a couple more sprints and we'll uh see how it feels so this first block was a 10 minute interval somewhere between threshold and vo2 i want to say my fgp is somewhere around 280 watts which comes out to be about 3.8 watts per kilo i don't really know what my fgp is i i I've, haven't really done the test in like a year i don't really care um at the end of the day my ftp is really just a training guide uh for me to figure out what my training regimen is going to be and i gotta say ever since i've been training hardcore this off season on zwift i can definitely feel that my legs are definitely getting stronger but yeah guys i want to say my ftp is like 3.8 watts per kilo at the time of this video so the road you're seeing right now here uh right now we are on the north shore just north of uh the chicago city limits we're heading north up on Sheridan Road. Now the road more or less runs northwest and the winds were coming out of uh, the southwest at like 20 to 25 miles an hour which basically meant I had a crosswind the entire time heading north. So despite the fact of the power that you see that I'm putting out that explains why I'm still going relatively slow and don't get me wrong I am super duper tucked in the hoods trying to be as aero as I can but at the end of the day especially for today my focus was primarily on holding consistent power not just the speed so one thing i've learned with my own fitness is i'm very much not a sprinter i'm very much more like of a domestique a lead out guy so i'm thinking maybe i might do some tt's this year maybe build up a tt bike yeah because i'm not really a sprinter like that um it is something i have to train for but at the moment yeah i'm more of like a at threshold kind of guy and i think these wheels are really good for that especially when you're in a bunch ride and yeah i think they'll do a good job morning yeah so 
let's continue so right now the weather here in chicago is like 46 47 degrees fahrenheit i don't really know what that is in uh celsius but the fact that it's middle of february and i'm able to ride outside this is amazing in fact last year the first time i was able to go outside was like the beginning of march uh so yeah shout out to global warming or whatever it is i don't know but if i can ride outside in the middle of february and have a couple hours spent where i don't have to be on my bike indoors on zwift I'm all for it. Now, despite all of these factors and variables today, I actually PR'd on both my five and six minute output on this ride, which I'm super duper proud about. And also too, while most of my Strava segment PRs and KOMs typically come from group rides and lead outs, I actually got a few second place PRs on some of these same Strava segments, despite the fact that I was riding solo and I was riding in such strong crosswinds. So it could be the wheels, it could be the bike, it could be a mixture of both but I can definitely tell that my fitness has improved this off season. And I'm really looking forward to see if I can get to that four watts per kilo by the end of summer. So for you guys out there, the viewers, what are some of your goals uh, this summer? Do you guys wanna improve your fitness? Do you wanna get into racing? Do you wanna do some sort of adventure riding? Or maybe you wanna be able to travel out of town or even out of the country with your bike and do some amazing backpack rides like that let me know in the comments what your goals are i would love to hear from you guys because like i said it's really only due to your support out there that has allowed me to be able to do these sort of reviews and first impressions as well so during this point in the video i didn't realize that the winds were so strong that it basically ruined and destroyed all the audio i had during this footage but basically all i'm saying is that i'm at the halfway point of my ride i'm about 25 miles north of where i started um, this is sort of this really nice lookout point um, that we have here on the north shore and just kind of and showing you guys what the bike and kind of the setup i had rocking on with it uh, but yeah and i was also mentioning that um now that i basically have gone 25 miles with somewhat of a tailwind slash crosswind that I'm gonna have 25 miles on the way back with even more crosswinds, but especially more headwinds as well. It super duper sucks, but hey, that's kind of the life when you're a cyclist, right? Alrighty guys, and 50 miles later, we finally made it back home. I'm super thrilled to be able to ride my bike outdoors for the first time in 2022, especially in the middle of February, which is pretty much unheard of. I wanna say last year, my first ride outdoors was like the beginning of March. But yeah, let's take a look at the bike, shall we? Yeah, so the bike is a little bit dirty. Um, it's not as bad as it's ever been. Um, but yeah, so far with the wheels, guys, the wheels are very stiff but not uncomfortably stiff. Now, granted, I'm coming from a specialized LA Sprint. So while that bike is comfortable to me personally, anything is gonna be more comfortable than that. But yeah, the wheels are very stiff. Um, you can tell they're very responsive when you get out of the saddle, even when you're sprinting, although I suck at sprinting. Uh, but yeah, they're just a little bit twitchy in the crosswinds, but granted, the wind today was like 25 miles an hour, which is what, like 35, 40 kilometers per hour? I don't know. So those aren't exactly the most ideal circumstances to be using these, but I do think that it's a good test because you're not always gonna be riding in ideal circumstances. So yeah, it's good to see um, how these wheels perform when they are pushed to the limit. Oh, and can you guys see? I, uh, let me, <laughs> it's hard to tell, but uh, I finally uh, have a proper uh, portable bike stand here. Uh, shout out to uh, Shadow Stand for send, sending me out uh, that stand. Yeah, so no more having to use uh, a garden tool or a hammer to prop my bike up. But yeah, I'm gonna give my bike a proper wash. But yeah, guys, I think that's about it. Um, yeah, I'm super happy with these wheels so far. Um, they definitely they definitely are confidence inspiring, um, I just, except when it gets really windy in the crosswinds. But as always, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to leave them down below. And I will check you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace. All right, I picked the wrong place. wet.